The International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, is calling for synergy among the various groups in Edo State to fight against trafficking and the use of illicit drugs. The chairperson of the group, Maria Edoko, who made the call during a sensitization rally across major streets in Benin City, said it became necessary due to attendant effects of drug abuse to the society. Meanwhile, the assistant zone commander of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency also appealed to the youth against the use of illicit drugs. Clad in red t-shirts with the inscription, FIDA says no to drug trafficking and abuse, members of the International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, in Edo State, take to the streets to sensitize the public against the use of illicit drugs. The procession, distributing flyers, passes through Sapele Road, the King Square, Forestry and Mission Roads, all in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. Waiting in the state, give our children, it will make our children mad. The chairperson of the body calls for synergy among various groups in the state in the fight against drug abuse and trafficking. So we are calling on mass media, government, the church leaders, traditional leaders, governments of Edo State, civil society. This is not like all the advocacy program that we must continue because we cannot allow our state, our country, to be a drug-using country. All the traffickers, they should leave our state. They should leave our farmland. All the small, small shops where they are selling them, NDLA, Edo State Government, lawyers, we are ready for them now. Yes. They will leave our land. Yes. The Assistant Zonal Commander of the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Edo State Command, urges parents and guardians to guard their wards against exposure to illicit drugs. Once you get into contact with it, you remain a captive. It is very difficult to get out of it. So the best is to educate the children on the consequences of this drug so that when they see it, when they hear about it, or when they see the signs in somebody who is a friend or classmate or somebody in their compound, they should run away from such a person. According to the NDLEA, Cannabis sativa, also known as marijuana, proven to have irreversible damage to the human brain, is one of the most commonly abused illicit drugs in Edo State. Well, over 1,440 cartons of pharmaceutical products were amongst items seized by the Customs Service along the Western Highway. During the handing over of the drugs to NAFDAC, the controller of the Federal Operations Unit Zone A in Lagos, Mohamed Uba, explained that well, in the last one month, the unit recorded about 40 seizures with 15 suspects in custody. Warehouses of the Customs Federal Operations Unit Zone A, Lagos, filled with intercepted goods. A glance through the contents of this 40-foot container of pharmaceutical products may amaze you, as they were falsely declared as cartons of intervention medicines from the United Nations. We are going to hand over this product and this one in container to NAFDA. When we talk, everything in us talks because we know what this means to the human life. It's a very serious issue. So we, 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 we call on everybody to join us. If you have reports, let us know. While some of these seizures have been counted to be condemned, more items are arriving in the warehouse for appropriate action. On the report we get from the Federal Road Safety Commission, as one of the causes of accident, is as a result of the first used tires. And people get killed, they get injured. It is the wisdom of the government that it has banned the importation of used tires. This is why they are also seized. With these cargoes estimated at over 200 million naira, Importers and experts alike await the action of the Customs Service to investigate and find those involved in this fraud. As the controversy over the alleged missing 11 billion naira worth of petroleum products of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation continues, the House of Representatives has vowed to ensure that those found culpable are sanctioned. 
Meanwhile, the managing director of Capital Oil and Gas, Sifang Uba, maintains that his company did not breach its contract with the NNPC, a position contrary to that of the former managing director of the NNPC Retail uh, Limited, Esther Namdubwe. Both parties stated their positions as the lawmakers commence an investigation into the matter. And that's news across Nigeria for the week. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker.